Oh, there's Nemesis this, Mr. X that. You pansies keep talking about how they're the scariest things you can ever see in a video game. But have you ever stopped to consider this yellow mouse right here? <laughs> Hi, oh, are you insinuating hey, Seely. that that Seely here is a monster? Hello, Seely. Thank you. I You're joining us in Resident Evil. Well, actually, when you stop and think about it, technically, Seely is would be considered a pocket monster. Oh yeah, I know uh, a monster, uh, but I'm a pocket monster. That's the same shit. Anyway, welcome, um, <laughs> welcome well, well, back, hype and Seely. Yeah, welcome uh, back, hype and welcome Seely. You guys have joined us in reading the letters of a insane, crazed uh, psycho murderer. Oh, psycho, uh, sadist, um, complete and utter misogynist, um, womanizer, rapist. misogynist. That's the word. Yep, yeah, rapist. Uh, the freaking necrophiliac at some point. Basically, <laughs> basically, is an amalgamation of every every sin sin ever known to Raccoon City. So, and and as we're learning here, it looks like Police Chief Irons was the one who was also specifically in charge of providing security for Umbrella's misdeeds. Yeah, at he, least at least the ones going on in Raccoon City proper. He was brought. He was pretty much under Umbrella's pay payroll. I, I yeah. Jeff, forgive me, but you guys are talking about all the philias that this guy's like done. It's like oh, he's violated women, violate children, violate the dead. I I was half expecting it to continue and be like, you see that stuffed raccoon right there? He probably violated that too. Probably Actually, did. he is a tax. He, he is a taxidermist. Yeah. He is a taxidermist, and that is something we also be learning. You know that, what I uh, mean when I say violate? Yeah, I know. No, I, I, know. I, I know what you're saying. Don't worry. So yeah, no, we're all. This is also the part where we're going to be uh, learning that he's a taxidermist who, I mean, throwing this out there already, we also have to now understand the fact that he uh, commits taxidermy on, like, super rare animals. Like, to him, like, that is just, like, what gets him, like, fully, like, he's excited about that chase, about the allure there of things. Also, I quickly went I... back down, I also, I also quickly went back down the elevator to get that now that I cleared out my inventory there, a There's bit. a few, uh... I mean, a while back, uh, a few months back, I went to, uh, I was on a big road trip, and my family and I stopped by a, uh, by the way, yes, I love this still. Um, <laughs> my, my family and I stopped by this, uh, one store, and there's actually a taxidermy giraffe. I figure, I, I did guess see. that's, I guess that's where they, that's who they hired. I... I, you know what, I did see that a long time ago because a friend of mine and his father invited me out to go to the uh, Hunt and Game Expo. Uh, yeah, it uh, wasn't that actually, much, by the way. Real quick, so uh, while, <laughs> while Seeley's here, well, let's oh. get her up to speed real quick. This right here is Claire Redfield. She came to Raccoon City in search, search of her missing brother, Chris Redfield, only it just so happened she came, on, came to Raccoon City on a, probably the worst day of its life. You see everything that had happened up in the in the Appalachian. I think Arclay. Arclay. Appalachian's an actual place. <laughs> yes. Everything I, I, happened I, in the first game. I, I, I could buy that the Arclay were based anything on the Anything can happen anyway. in the woods. So basically, uh, everything that happened in the Arclay Mountains in Resident Evil One is like we all had hoped, prayed that it would never reach actual civilization and would just remain like completely isolated up in the wilderness Oops. yeah no it is now foul it is now uh we are now living in a potential apocalyptic scenario of it has reached uh cities and oh, oh, hello. zombies are everywhere it's... jesus die <laughs> Yeah, Fortunately, there's no. Uh, genuinely, I don't even think with R I don't even think with the RPG later. I don't think there's any friendly fire. No, there isn't. Not... Uh, I actually tested. Uh, I actually do. Like, I think I tested it when we did our original video. Uh, I think so. Yeah. But the. Uh, yeah, I think I tested it in our original video, but I I checked and yeah, we couldn't like you couldn't burn yourself in the game. Yeah, so long as like. Yeah, like as long as it's a hit, you don't you don't take any damage from any of your well any of your weapons. Although I think grenades could also hurt you. Grenades do just hurt because you. they're such, uh, just because they're such a delayed explosion. Yeah, I but guess. like the fire and uh, acid okay, rounds and stuff All like covered. that, the flamethrower, none of that stuff can hurt you. So we also get to learn a little bit of some, uh, I guess. Um, like metaphorical stuff here. Like so, here he talks about a white-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old. Uh, Maybe. that's fine. That, I mean, that, that's just, that's hunting up in the Arclay Mountains. Looky there. Okay. My bad. Uh, he caught, he got a Siberian tiger. Somehow. I nearly, Jesus I nearly Christ. came when I sliced its yellow belly open. It's warm. Yeah, no, he's, he's outright insane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then here we get this pig 
female, 22 years old. Raccoon City. Pigs mm. don't pigs don't live to be 22 years old. The body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's spoilers forever. Spoilers. He killed the mayor's wife. Uh, wife, wife daughter, 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 daughter. 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 <laughs> no worries. It, daughter and either way, also, it's a member also, of the family. This man is so deprived and insane. He drinks orange soda okay. after brushing his teeth. <laughs> that is that, that that does sound very deranged. <laughs> also, I my so you, ba yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically, Seeley, he's just all kinds of like evil and just messed up. Yeah, so. and unfortunately, uh, we're on the chase. We're actually cha we're actually chasing him down because uh, he took our he took our new our new best friend, uh, little a fucking girl stuffed dodo bird. A um, yep. I I've ne I'll, I'll admit I never knew they grew to be that large, but yep, looks like it. And yeah, no, he stole the little girl who was probably going to lead us t to you know. Ma well, at the time we were just trying to help her and get her to safety. And he clearly has some connections and knows where to, uh, what, what, what's going on here. So we need to chase them down, uh, as far as where this now goes is this is now the parallel where, as opposed to trying to open up a locked prison cell in Matt's playthrough, now we're trying to open up his private, like, hidey hole in order to get access to the key card that'll get us out of the parking garage. You know, for all we know that, for all we know that stuff, Dodo may be a fake. It could be, it yeah, like, likely I... is. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I take, I take one look at that dodo, and I guess you could say he wasn't smart enough to plan ahead. Uh, no, I'll take. I mean, I mean, granted, I mean, granted, I know they're smart enough to to ride to a drive planes, but uh, that's ridiculous. I'll also say, uh, I guess I will also toss this out Those there are that penguins, you idiot. As far as the oh, anyway, wait, you mean the ones in Animal Crossing? I thought they were. Oh, I thought, oh right, the I thought dodos I, can't. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were speaking about the penguins from Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. Either way, I mean, they're both smarter than the average. I, for, I forgot about so, Dota Airlines. Sorry, oh, and I'm no, just don't. playing Animal Crossing. What is wrong with me? Well, were you using the Dodo flight service? I was in the airport. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 you come to know them so well that you forgot that they what what sort of <laughs> species they were. Oh, also a fun little thing is that uh, we don't get the Clover key in Claire's playthrough. We get the Heart key. Yep. So we get to go onto this side of uh, the interrogation room. This is heart. one of the few times they tried to connect uh, parts one and two. Oh, oh I remember this. Wait, the door shut. Let me out. Well, I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think that's any way to ask. You gotta ask politely. <laughs> oh yeah. Out, by the way, for those watching, you might want to turn down your volume. I'm just gonna take this portable safe. I don't know why you would say that. It seems fairly fine to me. Oh, oh okay, Logan, Ar Logan already turned the volume down for us. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Die. Because, yeah, no, in the original game, and to some degree, the remake, that glass shattering is loud. Yeah, they, is loud. they bump up that volume a lot. Of is he still not dead? Die. 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 In scenario B. There it goes. Ah, <sighs> there we go. I yeah, think they got it. There we are. Also, I think uh, they're throwing this out there. The uh, secret, um, oh. the secret, uh, the big, the big powerful weapon in this game is not in this ver in this uh, chapter of the whole story is not a, a magnum but a submachine gun. Which I'll admit, yeah, I, the magnum just has so much more oomph behind it, you know. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. You the is it the submachine gun only at the very end though? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like that's like your end game yeah, weapon. That, that's what you use the high in, caliber the end gunpowder game for. Leon though was the rocket launcher. No, 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 but I mean, like, okay, so, you know how you get gunpowder for crafting, yeah? Yeah. So when you combine high grade with high grade, you make magnum rounds in Leon's. Yeah, okay. For the magnum. Here, you do it for the uh, submachine gun. Oh. And I was just comparing between those two that I think the magnum just has more oomph to it. The submachine gun can be very good for, like, quickly mowing down oh, something, but it, something it doesn't have a... I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. The, the, the only problem with the submachine gun that we'll find out later is that it doesn't have a lot of uh, stopping power. Like... It, it, like you want something because sometimes you don't even want to really kill something you just want to stun them long I enough said, to like, like, put some distance you? between yeah yeah how <laughs> okay. are you doing Seely with all of this yeah you've been silent that's good sorry there's been a lot to, so to catch up to speed uh, on, on everything else going on is that um, right now we're solving some puzzles to find the, the card key because the parking garage is locked and we're doing all this this is the, this here will be the second half of our big Resident Evil 2 uh, commentary, and then we'll move on throughout the rest of the franchise to uh, bigger and more mixed re response, uh, m mixed received games. Yep. Hmm. 
Also, I see I, you have that high capacity mag, and you still refuse to, you know, kind of combine it with that handgun. But because I'm not using that handgun, like genuinely, I'm oh. not. I'm, I'm. I will literally use this until I get a better upgrade for this gun. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you just put it away then? Yeah. Because we need large caliber handgun. I probably. Uh, I guess. I, I guess I was holding on to it, in, like in case of a rainy day, like if this ever ran out of ammo, I'd have. Because a I like the feel of it. Because it makes me feel like a big man. I, I mean, I guess it. I apologize for being silent. I I was trying to get some stuff done, and now, but don't worry, this now has my full attention. Okay. No worries, no worries, no, just don't worry. And I hey, Logan, don't forget the, the gear. don't accidentally put that in the fucking box like I did. Oh boy, mad, mad. No, we talked lady. about this. <laughs> also, there is salutation, citizen. I see, I see you're using the pistol now. Yes, because I realized that, because A, I would like to hold off. I think I was using it at this point because I was like, oh crap, I'm running out of large caliber handgun ammo. Yeah. That also, I will say, the good thing about the pistol is that it has a, a red sight and uh, yes. is much easier to, like, get headshots with. Oh, uh, it's just a combat knife. We don't need that. We, we already got pretty I was more so now. surprised. It's like, oh, those are just mannequins. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's classic horror trope. Which I'm sure I that am... police officer also violated. That is the one thing I am the I, least looking for. Okay, let's stop talking about yeah. that. Yeah, uh, not this is not new hype. That's just the guy's weird. So we're just not gonna think about it. I, I mean, Gre say, I, I mean, Grinty is not nearly as bat yeah. batshit as we're making him out to be, but he is still batshit all the same. Let's get rid of this. He's guy. very close. Better knife. I mean, I wouldn't put it like, past him. I'll be, I'll be fair. Well, he'll hopefully get his comeuppance in this. I still right, got the knife gear in there. Knife durability is I'm one of the dumbest things. Yeah, I, I don't get that at all. I hate it. Yeah, but, I don't like it either. Like, the knife, but, like, we brought it up before. The knife has and always should be a, you know, last, de like, a last defense in case you run out of, run out the rest yeah, of your the options. Yeah, last resort. And if you get rid of Thank that last resort, then you kind of fucked over the player. So it's not even the, hope, it's not even the player's fault, it's the game's fault. I know. The fortune, Leon will not have to worry about such tr frivolities in the future. Nor Jill yes. in the next game. So nor is, anybody, nor anybody, I don't even think, apart from this and 3, I don't even think 7 or 8 have knife durability, do they? Remake no. 3 didn't even have the durability, yeah, no. if I remember this correctly. This is the only game in the series that has oh. knife durability. Okay, so... And I mean, if it weren't for the fact that, you know, you can still get enough weapons to more or less you consider, the, consider the knife kind of redundant, also, then it would be, it would be, it would be a pretty big problem. Oh God. And, and of course, and of course, don't and of course worry, she's going to go away real fast. Well, don't just stand there. Blast her. Do a, like that. Watch her get up from that somehow. And nice, crit hit. Crit. Uh, so what's happening there, Celia, is everything in this everything in this game is very stupid resilient. Like, these are not easy to kill zombies. and like They're spongy. It, like, if you get a crit and pop it in, like, one shot, that is like your... Whoo, like, that is like you are... Very happy kind of moment. Also, <laughs> for some reason, the door in this playthrough is boarded up, but in... Like, again, this is why I consider A and B to be in alternate universes. Like, they have from, to be, yeah, right? Like, there's no other way. Like, universes. this is... Especially when we get towards the end and, like, certain characters... Like, one character dies in one person's playthrough, yet lives long enough for a whole emotional cutscene in another. Yeah. In another. Like, it, it... There's no way they line up. Anyway... Uh, however, true to form between the two playthroughs, at least, is after we... True to form, we were stuck inside that handle. I, I definitely saw that, too. I was like, wait a minute. But, uh... Hmm. Breathe in, breathe out. Celie, it's time we introduce you to another person in our colorful cast of ghoulies. I... Meet him. Oh, thanks for getting out of the way. Oh, wait. T double O extra large, as I like to call him. Think of it like a dark nut Sealy that you cannot hurt. Oh god. You can certainly and try, will, but like you can stun him. He will chase him. you to the ends of the earth. You can stun him, but you can never hurt him. And, and you and this is and, and so and essentially like taking... they're just like phantoms from a George Mask and Spirit Tracks. Yes, and for, the, and for the love of all that is sacred, do you do not try to take that hat of his off. Oh, he gets pissed. Oh, yeah, and no, he actually no. does start At, walking. He actually does start yeah, stalking yeah. faster. If, if you, you try to shoot the hat off, his uh, walking speed actually doubles throughout the rest of the game. He just that does not like it. That hat was a gift from my grandfather. He just is, he's that man. 
I love the fact that that Umbrella, because we might as well just yeah we've already we've, yeah of course we don't have to worry about spoilers at this point we've already seen the game. I, I love the fact that Umbrella programmed and designed into this bio weapon a need for fashion and I mean, a sentimentality for the hat. I mean, you say that I just think, I just consider the hat an inhibitor. And I no, still think uh, for, that uh, they, they, the jacket man. is actually an inhibitor. Like they confirmed, the Almost... jacket is an inhibitor. Oh, otherwise he'd be just like Nemesis. Yeah, because you or guys a real saw tyrant. the you guys saw the ending of the fucking uh, you guys saw the ending at all. I saw it. I saw the, it. Also, also like Mr. 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 X went nuts. Also, I'm throwing this out there as oh god, the liquor's here. Oh, oh, geez. Geez. And, and I'm throwing this out there. Woo. I'm throwing this out there because I would love to see somebody mod this game even further with, like, I mean, like, going to, like, full-on gameplay territory that, like, okay, I'm doing this because there's a heart door hey, I need to get access to. Also, I can Bye, hear him. Yep, we need to move. You can usually hear Mr. X because he's big stompy boots or somewhere. We need to move. Because he's constantly... Oh, that's the other thing, Silly. He never goes away. Like, imagine an enemy that could actually chase you through the dungeons and go through doors towards you. Like, leaving the room does not get him off your back. Unless you go to uh, the anyway. safe room. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to like go over this key. I like how we have to, com- to, to, light, to make Seely understand... Relatable, yeah, yes. To make we have relatable, to compare to we Zelda. We always have to relate it to Zelda somehow. That To me, that is the game that she has the most experience and understanding of, so if I no can tie it to Mario, that... Anyway. Okay, there he is. Ooh. If I can tie it to you that... You guys make it sound then, like it's a bad thing. We're not. It's not a bad thing. It, for me, it's just for me. It's a really nice, easy, like frame of reference to draw back to. We need to move right now. Thank you. Uh, because that's the other thing is that if uh, if he gets to me, it'll take like I think two punches and I'm dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. We put some distance, and this is a safe space now. You know, imagine if Claire what Claire was a was a uh, expert crossbow wielder, kind of like Linkle. <laughs> actually be pretty cool like dual with that would be actually pretty neat a Resident Evil game where you have like a weapon thing that like dual wields uh Code Veronica does that yep. and it sucks oh, okay. it, it sucks oh, it's like it. the legit the worst weapon in the game really yeah why the hmm okay let's do it here uh this like this key thing and I was and, and I'll say that's why I love playing this game with headphones on because you can like, actually like you again, like you can actually like listen and pick out where Mister X is around you if you get yeah. if you become th- familiar no, enough. It, with it the, is uh, a lot map. of fun with headphones on. How I, d- what? I'm, what so- I'm sorry. Stupid thought caught, crossed my head. I wouldn't What's be surprised up? if someone already tried to mod this, but if replace a um, freaking T double O with fucking it sixty four Bowser. Oh god! Complete with the uh, footsteps. Honestly, no, 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 no. I, I would like. No, I, I would want down for that somebody too. to mod it so that instead of footsteps, instead of hearing the. You hear, like clown shoes. Like clown really t- like oh, oh, like honking. Sh- okay, clown shoes for a minute. I thought you were insinuating he was wearing like really tight spandex. I thought I, I thought you're ma- I thought you're making the same squeaking sound that the worms make in Worms Armor get like when they no. like when they're moving across. Nope. Sorry. Or that that actually no would be funny. Man, now I'm just now I'm just imagining if if freaking Adam the Clown was Mister X instead. Don't Adam geez. the Clown. Dread Dead Rising, the chainsaw oh, right. wielding clown. Uh, but uh, the other thing, the, the motto is the mo- used to also Logan me. unfortunately makes this harder on himself because he could have pushed all three of those. I I was gonna say that 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 astonished me that you could actually like grab. What, she's stronger than I thought. So uh, the uh, let's just grab all this stuff. Five. Yay. There you go, man. <laughs> Look at how how far that thing juts out. Make you we'll make use of this yeah. thing. Anyway, um, the other thing is that um, the mod I was thinking of is I would love if there was a, a way to take the gear with us. I would love if there's a way that if I sneak up on some guy, if I sneak up on a zombie with a knife and they haven't detected me, I should be able to kill them. Oh, yeah. oh it's just a regular zombie. You're not allowed also, here. Also, yeah, this, this for, in uh, the scenario, this area is not a safe room. It's not as safe as it could be, yeah, because the door doesn't shut behind you and... Uh... Oh, 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 well, hello. No, no. We have visit. We have company. Well, no, like uh, double extra large and all, and zombies can't get into that small room be- because it's registered as a They're safe too tall. room in scenario A. Uh, oh, yeah. actually, I-, I was gonna say I believe double X large is still uh, prevented because he's just too tall. Okay, that's fair. But all the normal zombies I can still a, like hobble in. I had a dumb idea. Like we talk about like modding like certain sound cues for Mister X. I have the dumb idea of like, what if you can actually mod in like a music cue that plays when he enters the room? So just he steps in and it just it plays like the Double Day in Battle theme from Unleashed. 
Oh my god. <laughs> da, da, da. Fucking, honestly, just for play me, that ad nauseum. Honestly, That'd I'd have amazing, him step into but... a room and uh and start playing uh a Final Fantasy song like the do 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 I would have I would do I would have him step I would have that's I'm, not I'm weird. I would I'm weird. I would have him step into a room and we just hear the basement trumpets of RE1. You know what? That How would make me laugh. How about something a little more? How about something a little more appropriate? Give him fucking Fury Bowser's theme. Yeah, that'd be pretty yeah. nice. With the that'd freaking metal cool. chorus in the background. Yeah, you know what? I think we've already asked this on the last time we did this, but Celie, what would you say has been the scariest gaming experience that you have had to undergone, underwent, <laughs> underwear, played? Played, um... Played. Hmm. It's something that truly made you... I mean, I know the... I know in terms of, like, what you've told me, the Wind Waker re-deads are kind of up there. <clears throat> I was about to say, uh, it doesn't have to be just play, because I Wait, know Wait, can he's... Mr. X they... come in here? No. No, oh, okay. no, but this was, th this was all recorded open. prior... No, this was th th that. What that was was that was him opening the door leading up to this hallway. Okay. Anyway, I was yeah, saying. Yeah, wait, this was all, and th and, Oh my god. And this was me. And this was me recording all this before you told me about that little tidbit map. But boy, oh. howdy, was I still on uh, tense. Okay. Anyway, I was. You just know saying... what? You know what makes it just a little bit better? Hmm. Knowing that mm -hmm. the redead scream is literally just an elephant trumpeting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just pitched really? up. Yeah, it's just sped up. It's sped up elephant trumpet. Huh. More you yep. know. That's, yep. yep, that's exactly what it is. That, oh, that, man, now just... See, Lee, you should join us whenever we do Bayonetta. Yes. Oh, that's right, because there are elephant things. That's right. okay. I, I oh, remember, one, of the, Gamora, one of the demons you can summon Gamora's, literally is just, just he makes an elephant yeah, yell. G Gamora's roar <laughs> is an elephant roar. Oh, that's right, yeah. When he opens the, Oh, I remember hearing that in the Smash. Even though it's... it's uh, I was just about to say, I find it funny that's an elephant roar, even though it looks nothing like an elephant. And what I was about well, to no, say... I back mean, to, yeah. And, back and a dolphin saying, doesn't look anything like a kookaburra. And what Fair. I was about to say earlier I is think. that, uh, honestly, like, when it comes to, like, the question we have for Seely, I don't think it even has to be limited to just games she's played, because I know she's binged your Walking Dead uh, walkthroughs plenty of times. Fair, but that's, but I'm talking, like, if she actually, played it, That's not like, much of a horror it, like, game, though. If, if she, but I'm, I, and I'm saying, like, if she played the game herself, like, I don't think I've ever watched her play a horror game. I played a also, little bit of Walking Dead, but you never watched me play it. It's not even really That's a horror fair. game. I'm sorry. There, uh, are, there are tense moments, but it's like but, uh, I'd, say, I'd say there's it's more drama. It's but drama. I definitely yeah. see this horror. Uh, I, I will say as well, like when it comes to uh, horror, I can say like. And there we go. Uh, yeah, last electronic piece. You played uh, Pokemon Ruby, right? No, just Sapphire. No? Oh, okay. Well, same thing. I'd say same difference. Well, so what, what no, happens in Ruby and Sapphire? Well, not the same difference actually. Because oh, is this the where the quest gets different? Well, no. In uh, not really. So when you re reawaken uh Kyogre and all that uh he? and Groudon in either game, so there are different songs. When you reawaken, Kyogre, I can handle him. Yeah. When you reawaken Kyogre, you get uh you get the song Downpour, which is okay. It's not a bad song. When you reawaken Groudon, you get the song Drought, which is fucking nope. horrifying. Really? Yeah. I, oh, I, that. I oh, no, I, I remember now. Like, the, I, I, I remember. Like, it's like the tension of like when it like. That's fair. I'll show you. I think. Drought. Where is he? And all that. I think the you can climb scariest ladders. horror game I played personally is just Five Nights at Freddy's first game. You actually played that? I played the first night, then I had to stop because I was getting too anxious. That is fair. <laughs> the, the, I mean, and, and the and the fun fact about a game like that is that like the real like quote unquote secret of it is that it's. It, it's ba like ultimately, if you were to die, if you were to like completely boil down all of FNAF's gameplay, it's primarily a time management game. Yeah. It's simply like keeping track of where the where the animatronics are moving and remembering when and conserving your power as a result. So don't like go willy nilly. Learn their behavior. Learn the timing and like for like there was one game I did try that was like that where the cool part about learning all their behavior is eventually I was like, huh. I actually don't even need to check the camera. I always just need to check this door every so often and listen for this audio cue, and then that's my... Yeah, Like, like they're just little tricks like that. Watching yeah. Markiplier's playthroughs, you know, uh, uh, more times than I can count. I can understand Bonnie and Bonnie and Chica's behavior, but Freddy, on the other hand... Freddy, the, the trick with him... Was this be the wild card? 
he's the wild card and the trick with him is he jumps from like one camera to the very very end like there's like because he, he uses the vents at one point and uh, and but, all uh, you know and all you know about that is you know just when he moves from one room to another you he there's a deep laugh right and so that and so at that point you're counting the laughter and then just to always keep the door shut until he resets back but any who's in uh, with that, with that uh, little uh, t- with that little uh, tidbit taken care of, we are now able to get all of the pieces we need in order to unlock the final door and get that key card. But it's also probably around right around now that we should start checking in and see how dear Sherry's doing. Yeah, hopefully she's doing all right, right uh, wherever she's at. Just join us next time. This Bye. is a nice closet. <laughs>